Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at tips for saving and opening files within Vetrix software. So if you ever find yourself searching all over the place for different files, we're going to look at three different methods on using files inside of Vetrix software. So you can see for an example, if you were to import, let's say a bitmap, when it opens up the file folders, this will be the last file folder that you had to open. And now you have to search for the folder that you have your bitmap files in, select your bitmap and click open. And that would bring in your bitmap file. But now let's say you wanted a vector file, but it's in a different folder. Now when we click import vectors, by default, it's gonna open up that bitmap folder. And now we have to search our folders for the vector files. So we're going to be looking at some tips on how you can change that method. Also, the same thing applies for saving toolpaths. When you go to save your toolpaths and you select them and save, that's going to open up your last used folder. And you may want to save your toolpaths in a different folder, such as a USB drive that you use for your CNC machine. So what we're going to do is close this down. And the default is set to do it this way. And these save settings can be changed by going to edit and then coming down to options all the way at the bottom and then scroll down this list and you'll find in the general settings, it'll say file dialog default. And by default, it's going to be set to global. And you can see down here at the bottom, global means that it will open in the last used location. So every time you open or save a file, it will open in the last used folder. So that's the first method. The second one is by operation. And this one opens in the last used location for that specific operation. And then the final option is job. So that's going to use the folder that the project file was saved in. And then if there was no project, then it would use the location from the last operation. Okay, so we just looked at the global settings and that means whenever you click on a button that opens up your file menu, it's gonna to go to the last used folder that you opened up with. So now we're gonna look at the operation. So let's click okay. And for this example, I have a file folder set up here and this would be an example if you were to use it by operation. So you would have a folder just for your project files. These will be your CRVs and CRV 3Ds if you're using Aspire. And then you'll have a file folder for vector files. So this will be your SVGs, DXFs, and other vector files. And then you'd have a folder for 3D modeling files like STLs and 3D clip art. And then we'd have a folder for bitmaps such as JPEGs or PNGs. And then we would have a folder for toolpaths. And these do not all have to be in the same location like they are here. They can be scattered all around your computer. And there's also other different file types you can make as well. But for this example, we're going to use these five file types. So we're going to go into our project. And now that we switch it to operation, initially it's going to be still set up as global. So when we click import vectors, it's going to open up our last used folder, which was the bitmap files. But now since we're set up to operation, we're going to go to our vector folder and open up a SVG file from there. And that just placed it on the screen there. And now if we were to open up the bitmap folder, that's going to go back to that bitmap file because it's still set up as the global operation. But now we import something from the bitmap file and that will import there. Same thing with the toolpaths. If we go and save some of these toolpaths and if we go to the correct folder, we'll go to the toolpath folder and I'll save those in there. So that initial first step there was training the operation folders where they need to go. So now every time we click on a button, let's say we click import vectors, it's going to go to the vector folder. And then all your vectors will be in this folder. Now, if we go to import bitmap, it'll go to the bitmap folder. Then if we go to save toolpaths, it will go to the toolpath folder. So as you can see, by doing it this way, it's much easier to keep your files organized and it's much quicker to find stuff when you're either opening or saving something from your project. And one thing to consider here is all your projects will be in these folders. So you can still retrain the correct folders to open, but by doing it this way, you'll have all your project files in one folder, 
are your vector files, 3D files, bitmap files, and toolpath files all in their own separate folders for all of the projects. But you can change these at any time as well. Okay, so that's an example of how the operation saving works. Our next example we're gonna be looking at is by saving by project or jobs. So with this example, you're gonna have a different folder for each project. And in each project, you'll have all of your files. So this will be your 3D files, your toolpath files, your project files, your vector files, and your bitmap files, and any other files that you need for your project. They will all be in one folder. And then whenever you start a new project, you will start a new folder for each project. And now the way this one works, if we go back to edit and then go to options, we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna change our file dialog default to job. Now it's gonna remember the job location for the folder. So now if we click okay, and if we were to go to our project file folder here, let's open up this project file here. And now we're set up to open and save from that job folder. So now when we click import vectors, it will go to that project folder, whatever one this project is saved in. And then if we go to any of the other importing or exporting features, they will all open the same folder. So that is your third option for importing and exporting files. And that's another way to keep all your projects organized. And just to note, you can use that also for, like I said, 3D modeling. So importing vectors, um, importing bitmaps for 3D models, exporting STL files, even the sculpting brushes, you have the option to import those as well. And then on the toolpath side, we also have the toolpath templates. So saving and exporting toolpath templates. And then we also have the job sheets. And like we mentioned before, saving the toolpaths by themselves. And I'm sure there's more I'm missing here, but all of those different operations open up your file menu where you can save and open files from. So all of those will be affected by our three different settings. And like I said, that is the global operation or job. So you can decide which one you like best. If you're happy with the global as it comes default and you don't mind looking around your computer for different folders, you can just stick with that one. If you like the operation setup where we have different folders for each different file type, you can try that out by just making a nice structure in your computer and then placing the appropriate files in each one. And then finally, if you like the job type one, you can set up folders for each project and all the files for that specific project will be in each folder. So I'll leave those up for you to decide which one's best for you but let me know below in the comments which of those three you like the best. And as always, if you learned something new here, make sure you like and subscribe for more.